Steve, you Maybe. ready to take off, man? Let's do it. So what type of schedule do you guys normally operate with? Just as needed, and then we'll have, uh, we have planned events every year that we do, um, sort of like Mardi Gras. Right, so, some of the ones we've seen, like on Movers Channel and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I guess why don't you show us around your aircraft a little right, bit here. Sure. So, um, several years back we uh, had, a, had a chance to do a lot of upgrades in this uh, this helicopter. It's a military surplus helicopter, so we got it from the... the 1033 surplus property program. Okay. Um, back in 90, early 90s, early 93, 90s. somewhere like that. And it, it had all the old style military gauges. And, um, so you upgraded a lot with glass cockpits. Right, and, yep. So like six years ago, I would say, we got a chance to do a complete panel upgrade. And um, we had the FLIR 8500 on it already. And we able to upgrade the glass cockpit with um, uh, touch screens, and, uh, which totally, ABS-B in and, in and out, which totally helped our situation where awareness. It completely changed the, the game as far as safety and awareness for us. Is there a lot of general aviation in the area that you're having to avoid, or? Yeah, uh, specifically here along the coastline, everybody likes to fly low level along the coastline, right? which is... Same thing we did when we flew in. Yeah. Same same thing, and, and that's our mission profile as well. Is is low level, 500 feet, well, really 750 feet or lower. Right. And, and atypical maneuver. So we're um, we're grateful that we were able to upgrade it. Completely makes you more aware of actually how many aircraft are around. So this is the military version of the 206, it or is. Okay. it is. Yep. It's just got a little bit um, uh, different. Uh, road blades on it, and uh, pretty much a stock 206, basically. 
So flying characteristics is pretty much the same. It should be identical. I have not flown a civilian to a 6 b model, so I Oh, well, we've got one. Hop in. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to compare it to the two. This is the only one I've had experience in, so. Um, but you can't beat it as far as the smoothness and the stability of it. You do a lot of backing up for officers, like, to different type of criminal activity. So how does that look? Yeah, we do a lot of, uh, mostly we do a lot of traffic and, and um, uh, coordinations for, like, these large events that we have here on the coast. And then uh, occasionally we will get called out for uh, missing or lost persons searches, manhunts, those sort of things. Just in, um, being that we're a part-time unit, it's hard to catch, like, pursuits. Obviously, because yeah. we're not here when they kick off. And, and time, it's over within 20 minutes. Yeah, by the time we get out here, it's over. So understood. Mover. So how's it going, Mover? Going great. So we're here out at the Harrison County Sheriff's Office, taking a look at some of their equipment. We got a little taking a look at our helicopter. Yeah, it's nice. I like the blue. Yeah, it's a beautiful helicopter. Yeah. So they just redid it about a year ago, and it's been gorgeous. So kind of tell me a little bit about your channel. Obviously, you know, I've, I've been a fan of yours for a while. I mean, yeah. You did a lot of the movies. You're Ruining movies, you've done a lot of coaching and stuff to kind of point people in different directions. So, kind of tell me a little about your channel. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of started as an accident. You know, I, my friend Gonky, who's a member of the channel, a friend of the channel, said, Hey man, why don't you uh, write books? And he was like, Why don't you uh, do an audio book? Let's talk about that. So, we right. started with that. And one day I told my story of how I became a fire pilot and it really resonated with, you know, people that didn't think they could be fire pilots. And right. that sparked to make them tell you no. And, Hey, don't let your don't let self doubt prevent you from doing what you want. You exactly. know, make somebody else who actually has the authority be the one. That, so that don't just listen to the recruiter right, work right. your way through get, the get, process. Get to the final no. You know, don't don't just say, oh well, sorry, yeah, I guess I I can't do this. This is over. Right. So it, it's 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 kind of turned into that, and then obviously I like to have fun and, and then share aviation. You know, I've, right. Uh, I work with uh, HAI at Community Holly Expo. I've done uh, helicopter vlogs and training and stuff right. and I just show all the mistakes and you know hey even experienced pilots make and I saw that mistakes. was it was it was 56 seconds 56 seconds to yes. live we've, we've we've done that we've done hood training I've worked with uh, Harrison County just kind of show law enforcement aviation I am in law enforcement as well so just trying to share you know all the stuff that I'm interested in and passionate about yeah yeah I really like the video you guys did a couple weeks ago where you had the uh that new digital yeah the, the LED Icarus, the Icarus. Yeah, yeah, was the, really the nice. Icarus hood uh they sent one out to test I actually had to send it back because Unfortunately, because it was such an awesome thing, but right. it just shows, you know, how innovation in training allows for, you know, better uh, preparedness for, you know, stuff because like it, that. it's so quick. Like you learn that in the 56 yeah. seconds, that, yeah. you know, it is so quick that when you go into clouds, and especially someone that's lesser experienced, or yeah. you, know, you as a fighter pilot, you're so used to flying instruments that you right. can go right to your instruments without thinking about it. Yeah, but someone that's flying around, you know, just on visual flying, you know, you're not, you're not used to going. And that's killed so many pilots because they're not used to looking at their instruments and they struggle. Yeah, and, and they, they've got a great course. I recommend anybody take the course, the 56 seconds. Yeah, I, I, I took it, yeah. yeah. I, I saw your video. Uh, and, and it's just something to be aware of. You know, the more we talk about stuff, the more we're aware of stuff. And when it happens, it's not like, oh, God, this is the end. It's like, okay, copy. It's, it's understood. Yeah. I, I know what's going right. on. I know, I know what, what to do. do yeah. And I don't panic. Or, or avoidance. You know, that's the first step. That's, that's even better. Thing. It's just never getting into it in the first place. So. Right. But it, it is interesting, you know, in some of the training that I've done, just, you know, purposefully flying up to it, just so you kind of get used yeah. to it. And you see how quickly it can come up on you when you're not expecting it. Yeah. And so a lot of it comes just back to better planning and being prepared. Yeah. So, right. Well, it's great to meet you. Yeah, it was very, very good to meet you. So I appreciate you. you. I know you have to run. Thanks but for coming out and uh, checking out Gulfport. I uh, hope you guys are uh, have a safe trip. Well, I appreciate your journeys because it's really cool what you're doing. Well, thank you very much, Mover. Yes, sir.